This this came from somewhere else. I mean, as bizarre as that is to believe, but I mean, it's there. I saw it. I know what the current state of the art is, and in in physics, and it's it can't be done. The Arctic, already shrouded in cold mysteries, just got a whole lot darker. The Navy has just unearthed something that defies even the wildest speculations. Even Bob Lazar, the expert in alien theories, is at a loss for words. What's lurking 7,000 feet below the Arctic Ocean? How does this discovery change everything we know about these vast expanses? And why is Lazar so alarmed? Today, we're diving deep into these mysteries with the help of Bob Lazar's expert analysis. Don't miss it. Our oceans cover one-third of the Earth, holding countless mysteries. While the land is familiar, the waters contain mind-bending wonders. However, the ancient human curiosity leaves no stone unturned. Especially with technological advancements, humanity has been able to pierce into those uncharted corners of the sea that no human eye could ever see on its own. Despite all this, we still have our boundaries. And with the ocean holding extraordinarily more than what we have discovered so far, it is no surprise then that the human imagination has forever been fascinated and haunted by the spectacle of the sea. Throughout the annals of history, the boundless sea has been the backdrop to tales of fearsome creatures, stirring the darkest fears of sailors. Foremost among these is the Kraken, a gargantuan squid-like beast reputed to pull entire vessels and their helpless crews into the abyss with its formidable tentacles. Then, there's the Leviathan, an immense sea serpent emerging from the ocean's depths. This monster's mere presence was enough to generate whirlpools, drawing ships into the deep. While their appearance might not be as terrifying, the sirens commanded respect and fear in equal measure. These half-female, half-avian beings sang irresistibly enchanting tunes, seducing sailors to steer their vessels into treacherous rocks. Akin in danger but different in nature was the Charybdis, a monstrous whirlpool notorious for consuming ships that dared venture near. Not far from this peril, mariners risked an encounter with Scylla, a multi-headed beast that eagerly plucked unsuspecting crew from ships' decks. Together, these tales formed a chilling maritime lore that has both fascinated and terrified for generations. Such creatures, while rooted in myth and legend, symbolize the inherent dangers of the sea, representing the unpredictable forces of nature that challenge those who dare to navigate its waters. As time passed, these tales served both as warnings and as symbols of the vast unknown that lies beneath the waves. This raises the question, should we shift our focus from space to deep sea exploration? If you're thinking this, you're not alone. Explorers are now daringly stepping into previously unexplored regions like Antarctica and the vast oceans. Even space agencies are showing interest. NASA and influential figures like Elon Musk are now backing deep sea exploration projects. These missions are not simple. They use advanced equipment and robots. After all, the crushing underwater pressure makes it impossible for humans to dive into these extreme depths. One of the most iconic tools invented to support this agenda is IceFin. Created by NASA, it is their answer to underwater exploration, much like the Mars rover was for space. Designed especially for the challenging Arctic regions, this deep water device resembles a torpedo. It's not just any underwater rover. IceFin is sophisticately constructed to cater to HD cameras, lasers, sonar systems, and altimeters. It can capture temperature, pressure, salinity, pH, and even the dissolved organic matter in water. What's even more intriguing is that it's customizable. Depending on the mission's needs, IceFin can be tailored. It can also dive up to 3,200 feet. You can choose to control it remotely or let it roam freely. With IceFin leading the way, Sea explorers have found such bizarre things that may just be more terrifying than any fiction out there. One standout is the isopod, which eerily resembles a garden pill bug. But there's a twist. These are not your typical garden critters. Isopods can be as large as a basketball when curled up. Unlike the small bugs in our gardens, these giants have a powerful armored shell. Found in the ocean's deepest, darkest realms, up to 7,000 feet deep. Their armor allows them to withstand extreme pressures. 
They have unique flippers underneath that help them swim, but they can also crawl on the ocean floor. This armor is their shield against predators and helps them burrow into the seabed. There, they camouflage, either lying in ambush for their next meal or staying hidden from potential threats. Being deep sea scavengers, they have an impressive ability to find food in the ocean's darkest depths. With large reflective eyes that adjust to their surroundings, they can spot anything from a decaying carcass to a live shrimp. Despite the food scarcity in these depths, isopods aren't fussy. They consume large portions, allowing them to endure uncertain periods between meals. Astonishingly, some captured isopods have gone without food for up to five years. But the thrill doesn't just stop there. A mysterious underwater structure resembling an alien spaceship was unearthed by a bunch of explorers in the Baltic Sea. Dubbed the Baltic Sea UFO, this enigma baffled many. One might ponder over UFOs in the sky, but underwater. The unexpected location left the explorers shocked. What could this strange relic be? A genuine artifact from extraterrestrials, or something else entirely? The more closely the explorers tried to observe it, the stranger it got. It was a strange, round object, towering at 13 meters high with an 18-meter circumference. From a distance, it resembled a mushroom sprouting from the ocean floor. On drawing closer, you observed intricate patterns etched onto its surface and cracks filled with black goo. Astoundingly, this disc was roughly twice the size of a football field. Protruding from its edges are what appear to be pavements or platforms, extending a staggering 300 meters. When unveiled in 2011, this enigmatic discovery had many speculating about its origins and purpose. Was it a remnant of an ancient civilization or perhaps, as some believed, a sign of extraterrestrial presence? One notable name in this discussion was Bob Lazar. Famed for his claims of reverse engineering alien technology for the U.S. government during the 1980s, Lazar's tales were once dismissed as mere conspiracy. Yet recent U.S. Congress hearings have provided witnesses that lend credence to some of Lazar's startling claims. With newfound backing suggesting the U.S. government's involvement in alien tech, it's no surprise that Lazar took a keen interest in the underwater discovery. What made the whole situation even more frightening was the fact that electrical instruments, including satellite phones and sonar, usually malfunctioned near the mysterious creature. This kind of technical interference isn't new. It's often associated with UFOs and alien technology. With that prior information in mind, this made Lazar yearn for some more alien conspiracy, but he wasn't the only one in the fray. Teams of archaeologists, divers, and marine experts hurriedly explored the underwater site. Initial theories speculated it might be a sunken Nazi ship or bunker. However, later investigations threw a twist into the narrative. Instead of wartime relics, evidence suggested the anomaly might just be a unique geologic formation millions of years old. Yet the true nature of this object continues to elude us. We also have scientists embarking on an astonishing mission in the Antarctica Ocean back in 2017. They weren't just on any expedition, but a quest to unravel the mysteries of the Antarctic feather stars, the Promacocrina species. These creatures move in ways that are out of this world, gliding effortlessly through the frosty waters. The scientists' journey spanned from the Sipil Coast to Diego Ramirez and even the Prince Edward Islands. The depth and vastness of their exploration are simply mind-boggling, and their dedication bore fruit. They uncovered seven new species under the Promacocrinus genus. But here's the jaw-dropper. Among their discoveries was the Antarctic Strawberry Feather Star, officially called Promacocrinus fragarius. As its name hints, it eerily looks like a strawberry. Found at staggering depths between 65 to 1,170 meters, this creature showcases a surreal palette of deep purples and dark reds. At first glance, it might remind you of an alien from a sci-fi thriller. But look closer, and its strawberry design is unmistakable. But Antarctica's vast, icy wilderness hides many secrets. Many species there remain unidentified, known as the Dark Taxa. This study not only uncovers the hidden gems of the ocean, but underscores the enigma that is Antarctica where unknown species lurk, waiting for their moment under the spotlight.
The dangerous mysteries continue to multiply as we recount the experience of a Navy team. During one of their periodic Arctic dives, meant for routine exploration and perhaps to test equipment or study marine life, an unexpected discovery arose. One sailor, while investigating a deep trench, noticed an unusual sight in the distance. Its pale white skin initially made him think it was just a seal, prompting him to signal his fellow divers. But as they drew near, the water's obscurity gave way to clarity, and the team faced a startling realization. The creature they saw was unlike any seal they had ever seen before. It was not a seal at all. Their routine mission suddenly became a quest to unveil a hidden marine enigma. Deeply curious as to what they had stumbled upon, the Navy team moved nearer still. As they came close, its form took on an unexpected shape, humanoid with pale skin, its flippers oddly resembling hands. The creature, unlike anything the men had ever seen, was gliding gracefully through the water. Captivated by its uniqueness, the Navy team came a little too close. Sensing their intentions, the creature swiftly descended into the dark depths, leaving the onlookers baffled and questioning their own eyes. Upon sharing their tale, experts were equally puzzled. No known marine creature matched the description. A prevailing theory proposed a potential encounter with an extraterrestrial or previously undiscovered humanoid species. However, another intriguing possibility linked the sighting to ancient Japanese folklore. The creature mirrored descriptions of Ningens, elusive oceanic beings from legends. Ningens are believed to lurk in the ocean's hidden corners, spanning between 10 to 40 feet, with peculiar mermaid-like tails among other features. These mysterious beings, when detected, tend to vanish swiftly, adding another layer of enigma to the vast ocean's many secrets. The elusive nature of these beings makes them difficult to photograph, especially as they emerge only at night. If what was discovered is indeed a Ningen, then the ancient Japanese legends about underwater humanoids might be true. This suggests that there could be more of these mysterious beings hidden in the depths of the Arctic waters. The quest continues as in 2022, beneath an ice shelf, a groundbreaking discovery emerged. An ambitious team of explorers drilled a staggering 500 meters through the solid ice, reaching an enigmatic underground water body. With bated breath, they lowered a camera on a pole into this icy, deep expanse, uncertain of what might emerge from the abyss. The waters, dark and frigid, were not usually believed to be teeming with life. Most scientists held the belief that the deeper you ventured into the ocean, the fewer organisms you'd encounter, primarily due to the scarcity of food sources. Only the hardiest of creatures, having evolved specialized survival tactics, were thought to exist in such inhospitable depths. But the reality they stumbled upon defied expectations. Almost immediately the camera was engulfed by a multitude of creatures, so many that they clouded the view. It was a surreal sight, an unexpected swarm in a place deemed too barren for such numbers. As the swarm gradually dispersed, the explorers caught their first clear glimpse of these mysterious deep-sea inhabitants. Deep beneath the icy layers of Antarctica, an underwater colony was discovered, unlike anything ever seen before. The main inhabitants of this unknown colony were a swarm of tiny crustaceans, eerily similar to the shrimps we recognize. The discovery took the explorers by surprise, prompting them to be extremely overjoyed. Until then, the scientific community was only aware of a vast network of lakes and rivers beneath Antarctica's ice shelf. But now, a new layer of excitement was added to the human endeavor. This discovery reinforced the idea that life thrives in every nook and cranny of our planet, even in the most challenging terrains. But this wasn't the only revelation. The British Antarctic Survey stumbled upon something even more astonishing. Bizarre, alien-like creatures that resembled living sponges. Despite the brutal cold, pressures, and conditions, these organisms seemed to thrive, going about their daily routine. With the discovery of such bizarre creatures, the question popped up again. What makes these creatures tick? How do they survive? And more curiously, what do they feed on? The answers remain elusive, igniting further intrigue about the mysteries hidden beneath Antarctica's frozen surface. 
This situation is further made more astonishing by the following discovery of a group of scientists. Exploring the depths of the dark, cold ocean, they found a rock teeming with microorganisms. What's even more fascinating is that upon digging deeper, they uncovered what's known as a microbial mat. But that's not all. They also stumbled upon tiny beings resembling jellyfish. As intriguing as these finds are, there's a puzzle to solve. Without actual samples of these creatures, determining their diet, survival tactics, and the duration of their existence in these deep waters remains a mystery. Some marine experts theorize that they might feed on methane seeps, benefit from melting glaciers, or perhaps rely on food debris that drifts down from distant oceanic regions. Yet these are mere theories, and the true answers are still hidden from us. To truly understand and protect many species, scientists need to delve deep and observe them in their natural habitats. Without this intimate knowledge, we risk letting them vanish forever in a rapidly changing environment. Consider the melting ice of the Arctic due to global warming. It's predicted that soon, even Antarctica's vast ice shelves may disappear. What would become of the creatures adapted to this icy realm? Would they survive in warmer conditions? Yet some can see a silver lining in this situation as well. According to them, melted ice caps could open up new exploration opportunities in the frozen waters of Antarctica. Without the need for tedious and strenuous ice drilling, explorers could freely dive into the unknown depths. While we anticipate the polar ice caps eventual melt, there's one thing that doesn't keep us waiting. Revelations about UFO sightings and aliens. This takes us back to Bob Lazar. His disclosures breathed life into numerous alien conspiracy theories. Lazar blew the lid off Area 51, a covert U.S. research facility where he was tasked with reverse engineering extraterrestrial tech. According to him, this is where anyone seeking real-life aliens should look. His claim garnered significant attention, leading many to plan an intrusion. However, Lazar warned against such actions, recounting a past incident where an intruder was shot. He also hinted that since his involvement was around 40 years prior, the base might no longer be at the same location. But did the alien enthusiasts listen? The movement grew stronger, leading up to an unpredictable event. The U.S. Air Force recently issued a stern warning about Area 51, urging the public to keep their distance or face severe consequences. While many see this as a necessary precaution to ensure undisturbed training, others speculate it's a ploy to keep prying eyes away from potential secrets within the base. Amidst the speculations, one intriguing perspective emerges. Perhaps our quest for extraterrestrial life is as likely to succeed in our oceans as it is in the vastness of space. Speaking of extraterrestrial life, there's another discovery that makes the scientific community shiver even today. Back in 2020, an astounding discovery was made about 2,000 feet down in an underwater canyon off Western Australia's coast. Originally, scientists were invested in studying deep seabed life. During the submersible's two-hour transit back to its parent vessel, the researchers were greeted by a spell-binding sight, a colossal, spiral-shaped gelatinous creature, much like a rope on the horizon, as described by Narita Wilson of the Western Australian Museum. Its sheer size was mesmerizing, making it impossible to overlook. This intriguing specimen was identified as a deep-sea siphonophore, closely related to the Portuguese man of war, which we often associate with its balloon-like appearance and potent tentacles. Its spiral formation is a strategic feeding posture, where it unfurls countless stinging tentacles, establishing a formidable wall of death. This lethal trap ensnares unsuspecting prey like crustaceans and fish. As the enigmatic spiral creature began to broadcast live across various Falcor screens, it engendered a collective sense of wonder. The crew, equally captivated and confused, flocked to the control room. Wilson fondly recollects the contagious excitement, with everyone posing the million-dollar question, what is this? While superficially similar to jellyfish, siphonophores are distinct. Think of them as a myriad of miniature jellyfish conjoined into one. Despite this, they are single organisms, resulting from reproduction. Their unique constitution comprises individual units or zooids, each assigned specific roles, from feeding and reproduction to movement. Narita Wilson aptly describes siphonophores. 
They're one and they're many. A sentiment that encapsulates their peculiar and awe-inspiring nature. Preliminary measurements suggest that this spiral siphonophore might just set a new record. Spanning roughly 45 meters, 150 feet, it potentially overshadows even the majestic blue whale in length. However, before any official titles are bestowed, Wilson is keen on obtaining precise measurements. Using photogrammetry, a method to deduce 3D information from videos poses its set of challenges given the siphonophore's movement amidst the submersible's thrusters. As Wilson aptly puts it, this creature presents a technically challenging subject, making its discovery all the more exceptional. The complexity and sheer size of the siphonophore have ignited a renewed interest in marine biology circles. Their habitat, deep within the ocean's abyss, has protected them from prying eyes, leaving us ignorant about their existence, behavior, and ecological significance for so long. Thank you for being with us. Make sure to watch the next video on your screen. It's worth the watch.